Coach, we'll start as a quick mic check. Just have you say and spell your first and last name for me. H-A-Y-D-E-N-K-I-L-G-O-R-E. Good deal. Now, Coach, first and foremost, just a recap of last season from your eyes. Uh, you know, season didn't end the way we wanted to. Um, you know, we lost a lot of games, you know, that were close. We finished up 2-8, and eight, um, but we competed in a lot of games. So, you know, didn't finish the way we wanted to, but we saw glimpses of hopes at times. So, you know, a positive to take away from it was, you know, we bring a lot of those kids back. So, you know, that's a positive. Who are those kids that you bring back? Oh, well, we bring back a lot of kids on the defensive side of the ball. We returned nine kids that played in our sectional game last year. Um, you know, we bring back Will Hoover on defense. We bring back Sawyer Yoder on both sides of the ball, Trey Harold, Logan Beam. There, there's a long list of kids that we do bring back on the defense and offensive side of the ball. About last season, what did you? What do you think, as a head coach, these kids learned about last season that they can apply to this year? You know, towards the end of the year, we really found out who we were. You know, we we moved kids around a lot. Um, you know, we put kids in different positions, and it makes it kind of nice going into a new season, me knowing the kids, um, in a sense that. You know, our kids aren't trying new positions. They're not doing that sort of thing. You know, we have a foundation built. Now it's time to actually work on skill, that sort of thing, and, you know, grow as, as a team. About that skill, what did you learn from last season that you want to change and kind of tweak for this year? It, we started out on the beginning of the year, you know, with an under center set, and as we kind of, you know, went on through the season, we have some athletes, and we really tried to get them out in space. So, you know, biggest thing with that is that, you know, our, our kids are in the right positions to be athletes and they're in the right position to, you know, where they would excel. So, you know, you know, I think about the guys we have and we have some athletes, our line lacks at times, we're getting better and, you know, a, you know, you can really use those athletes if you if your line kind of lacks like, like it has in the past for us. So, you know, we're coming together as a team, we're coming together as a whole and, you know, we're, we're really working out the wrinkles. You mentioned that nine players return on the senior on the defensive side. What what sticks out about this defense and what makes them scary going against the offense? You know we have a very athletic defense in the sense that you know our defensive line is athletic. We don't have big bodies on defense. We have a lot of guys that fly around. You know in our inner squad scrimmage the other day we have 11 guys get into the football. We're physical. We're fast. And you know I hope that we can translate what we learned last year and now use it on Friday nights this year. Yoder under center. What are you expecting him out of this year? Yeah, you know, he's in a unique situation where you know he has he naturally is just gifted, uh, gifted with uh, you know the way he can throw the ball and gifted with you know the way he can run and be an athlete. So you know we're we're trying to do some different things with him. Um, you know there's going to be times where I told him he's going to run the ball several times, and there's going to be times where he doesn't do much. You know whatever the defense really gives us, and, and you know we'll we'll use him as needed. And, and there's a lot of different things that he can do. So. Where do you think that you've seen him improve the most in a year? Uh, leadership. You know, he's a kid that, you know, as a team last year we lacked leadership. And, you know, he is a kid that has come a long way in that category. Um, he's respected by his teammates. He's respected by his coaches. And, you know, he kind of takes over the offense at times and kind of just, you know, gets people to where they need to be. And, you know, as a coach, you, know, you can appreciate that. So getting to where you guys want to be this season, what is it going to take? And, uh, you know, biggest thing is, you know, we just have to have a sense of urgency at practice. You know, there's times where we come out here lackadaisical, that sort of thing, and, you know, don't, don't get a lot done. So, you know, and our seniors are doing a good job of making sure that, you know, our younger guys understand that, you know, if they want to be good, our younger guys have to be good too. And, um, you know, if we can come out every single day and just, you know, practice hard, get better every single day, you know, I think that, you know, as a team we'll get better. So, What's a tangible goal for this year? It's a tough question. Um, you know, realistically, I'd want to compete every game. You know, I, I want to compete for a conference. I want to compete for a sectional. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot to get there. But, you know, at the same time, you look at some of the teams in our conference, you know, year after year, they're competing for, for a championship, sectional, conference, whatever the case may be. And, you know, that's just a goal of mine is to get us to that, that point where, you know, no matter what we bring up the next year, we're just competing for at, the, at the highest level. What excites you about this year and maybe even closer, week one? I'm just excited for our guys. You know, our guys have really bought into the system. You know, our coaches have bought in. Everybody's kind of bought in in the sense that, you know, I really want our guys to go out there and showcase what they've learned and, and, and all the hard work they've put in. And, um, you know, as a coach, you know, you can appreciate your guys coming and just busting it every day. And, you know, I want my guys to get out there and have the opportunity to show that. Good deal. Anything else you want to add, Coach? No, thank you. Player, S A W Y E R. Cool. And then you'll just have to you can just look at me through the uh, interview. Okay. So first and foremost, just in your eyes, kind of give me a recap of last season. Uh, last season was a little rough. We had trouble getting the offense going. Our defense works pretty well, but I mean, there's always spots we can improve on. Good deal. Let me make sure everything's good. All right. So where did you see yourself improve the most in, in a year? Um, just running the ball, making stuff happen off of broken plays and all that. Defense. I mean, I played pretty decent defense. I mean, competition was tough last year. 
should be better this year. What do you think this team learned overall from last year that they can apply to this year? Um, just trusting each other. Last year, there wasn't a whole lot of trust between us. We were kind of divided, and this year, I think we're more together. That's going to help us in the long run. At the QB position, where do you see yourself growing this year and, and uh, really kind of taking over from where you stopped last year and applying it to this year? Just being a bigger leader, I think. I need to come out there and be someone people can look up to and just lead this team. As a junior, what did you learn about varsity football that you want to, to bring this year besides leadership? Um, that it's tough. It's a lot different than JV football, and everything's a lot more fast-paced and just play with the game. What do you like about this defense? Uh, the defense is new. I mean, we have a lot more people that are playing one way this year instead of playing both ways, so we should be fresh on defense. Coach had mentioned that you guys return a lot of guys, especially on the defensive side. How much do you think that is going to help you guys come, you know, come down the stretch? Um, it's going to be a lot better just experience-wise. Uh, last year we didn't have a whole lot of experience. A lot of people were just starting playing for their first year, and this year it's going to be a lot better with people returning. What is it going to take for you to get to where you want to be by the end of the season? Um, lots of practice, lots of trusting other players, I mean, just working as a team. Being a senior, what do you hope to get out of this last season? Um, just wins. I mean, win as many games as possible. That's what everyone wants. That's what I want. What is it going to take to, you know, get to a winning season, finishing at 3-8 and eight last year? Um, showing up to practices on times, being there, taking everything serious, and just trusting everyone, like I've been saying. Good deal. Good deal. Is there anything else that you want to add? No. I mean, just... Win. How excited maybe how excited are you for the season in general, but then even closer week one right around the corner? I mean I'm nervous, but I mean I'm excited at the same time. I mean I think we can get stuff done this year. Who excites you on this offense? Um our wide receiver Trey Harold or our we have three running backs this year and they're both really great. I mean we can really spread the ball out or run it right down your throats. What do you like about Christopher? The big kid, I mean, he can block, he can run the ball, catch the ball. He's a little bit of everything. Plays defense, he's a real good player. Say and spell? Yeah. Noah Christopher, N-O-A-H-C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R. Good deal. See? Yeah. It, it's, it's easy. Yeah. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to have you get a recap of last season in your eyes. Um, last season, it was kind of a tough season. We went 2-8, and eight, uh, not what we were expecting. But I think this season, we can improve and be better than we were last year. And why is that? Um, because I think we have more depth. Uh, the younger guys have more experience, like Will Hoover, Sawyer Yoder, myself. So, What did you take from last season as maybe more of, of a learning experience? Um, well, I was uh, struggling on blocking last year, and I feel like this year I can be better at that. And then with the whole team, I felt like um, we just couldn't finish games. Like, we get to the fourth quarter, third quarter, and we, wouldn't, we weren't there. What is it going to take to finish games? What was missing? Um, mentality, uh, being there in the fourth quarter and the third quarter. I think that we were kind of spaced out, weren't they all there when it mattered. You mentioned blocking, but where have you seen yourself grow as a player in a year, maybe even through your varsity experience? Um, my speed, kind of, and then with like catching the football. Uh, freshman year wasn't the best at it. Now I'm running routes all the time so what do you think that your impact can be on this team this year um well I, I want to be a good leader to the younger guys um so that they when they're older that they do the same thing um and then just being able to catch the ball in open field you know as you were moving up in the ranks the leaders you know you were uh, you were the younger guy yeah. learning from the leaders now you are the leader what does that position mean to you uh it means everything it's just showing the younger guys what to do how to act how to play. Being a part of that team last year, how has the offseason kind of fueled that fire to get back out here and, and perform better? Can you repeat the question? It, just at being a part of that team last year, you know, and, and having this long offseason, just how did that help fuel the fire to get back out here? Um, it was like, think about last season, we weren't the best. And coming into this season, we wanted to be better. We wanted to prove a point. Uh, we left a lot on the table last year, I felt. Um, but... This season, I feel like we're going to be something special. Good deal, good deal. What about this defense excites you? Everything. New coach, new defensive coach, all new. It's going to be awesome. Good deal. What about the, uh, the offense? What, what do you like about that? Um, I like how we're spreading the ball out. Usually we were a run-power team. Uh, we 
put our hand on the ground and go. This year we're more, we're kind of even, pass heavy, run heavy. I mean, whatever we want to do this year. Good deal. You mentioned Christian. I mean, uh, you, <laughs> you mentioned Yoder. Uh, what, what do you like about that guy? Him getting out in space. He's quick. He's fast. Um, I remember last year against uh, Lakeland, he really used his legs, and that's one of the reasons we won last year. Where do you see his game growing in a year? Um, probably passing, being able to read defenses. I feel like that'll be good for us if he can figure that out. What is it going to take to get to where you guys want to be by the end of the year? Mentality. If we have a strong mentality, uh, we're not giving up, I think we'll be able to hold in this season. What's a good tangible goal for this team this year? What? Like, what's a, what's a, a, an attainable goal for this team this year? Like a record or like? Yeah, or like just like what, it, you know, what have you guys been talking about as like, hey, this is a goal for this year. What do we want to achieve? Be a lot better than last year. <laughs> um, uh, I think we want to win conference. I know that's a big thing. We want to win sectionals. Uh, just over the board, just be a winning team this year. Good deal. Now, what excites you about maybe this season in general, but even sooner, the week one that's only a few weeks away? Um, just being out there playing. Uh, during this whole coronavirus thing, we miss baseball, we miss all that stuff, and just being out there and just playing, playing sports. You know, uh, last season, like, you think about it, you kind of miss, you kind of miss sports when it's not there. And I feel like the whole time that we were off for that whole break, we were just missing sports. That's how I was. That's how all these guys were. So. And getting to play a senior year, how would that kind of take the icing on the cake and how would that, what would that mean to you? Everything. Being able to play this season means everything. I was kind of worried, but now I feel like since everybody's in the mentality that we're going to be playing this year, and everybody's doing the protocol with social distancing, wearing masks and stuff like that. I feel like we're going to be able to have a good season because of that. Why should pe why should people and other teams be taking notes of Central Noble, Noble this year? Um, our offense, we're I think we're going to have one of the better offenses this year, and then our defense is just going to be unstoppable. Last question I have about that defense is just the returning guys. I think coach said nine guys off that sectional roster come back this year on yep. defense. That veter veteran leadership, how important is it once, you know, Friday nights hit? Uh, it's important because you got all that experience from last year going into this year. Um, it's just, it's pretty much everything having that experience from last year. How much does that experience play into varsity football? A lot because like you can't really, some guys can do this. Some guys can go from JV their younger seasons and then just be a natural on varsity but then the other guys it just takes that experience to get better and keep getting better good but. good deal anything else you want to add uh, no. All right. hey i'm logan l-o-g-a-n my last name is beam b-e-h-m cool so just logan first and foremost i'll get a recap of last season out of your eyes uh last season wasn't that good to me uh we could have done a lot better uh for the most part we did overall decent as a team. We had a lot of confidence in our team, so that's about my preference of it. Where did this team need to improve for this year? For this year, we needed to improve a lot in our offensive line and more focus on offense, yeah. Good deal. And where did you see yourself improve? Um, I saw myself improve on uh, defense. I'm more of a defensive player. Not much offense goes on here, so it's about... Where did you see yourself grow in your position? Uh, I probably saw myself grow as a defensive lineman probably about halfway through the year. Uh, I'm a tackle on a defense, so. Yeah, so like, you know, from last season to now, as a tackle on defense, how have you seen yourself get better at that position? Uh, we worked hard. Uh, we always did drills. We always found new ways like new drills to improve on and more ways to focus on and watching film helped a lot. I watched a lot of film last year just on my position and other teams on what I could uh, find that was better. Good deal. What do you like about this defense this year? Uh, this defense is a lot more coordinated and we have a lot more, we have a lot more physicality on this team than last year and I think that this year is going to be a lot better than last year. Defense will definitely be more 
higher gear than last year. Coach was telling me that he that nine players returned from the sectional roster on defense this year. How important is that veteran leadership on the defensive side going to be what, coming down the stretch? I think it's going to be very important because they know how it works. They know what goes on. They know what kind of stuff to expect, and they can help our younger kids move along and hire so that way it builds our program as a, as a team. Who stands out this year? Who, who's coming back that people should be watching out for? I think Sawyer Yoder. He's a big, he's a big part of our team. He's one of our greatest quarterbacks we've ever had, and he's just one to watch. Good Never deal. disappoints. You know, you've been going against uh, Yoder in practice, and uh, what makes his game so tough, and what makes him so elite? He's a very fast player. He's light on his feet, never, barely any mistakes that I've seen. He's just always been there. Where have you seen him grow in a year? Uh, freshman year, he started out as a quarterback, like usual, and he just started pro to progress. Our QB uh, co uh, coaches really came along with him and helped him, and he got taken under our old quarterback, uh, Nick Allwine. He really proceeded to help him grow. So, Not only as a quarterback, but as a safety, too. I mean, where do you see his game improving on the defensive side? Where is he important? Um, I don't really pay attention to that, so I'm not quite sure. That's fine. That's fine. So, you know, looking at last season, you said it was not a season that, you know, you guys are significantly proud of. What is it going to take this year to have a better record? Uh, leadership. Leadership's one of our biggest things this year. I think that if we have more leadership and more confidence in what we're doing, then we're going to go a lot further than we did with the 2-8 and eight season last year. What is a goal this year that you guys think you can achieve? Uh, a goal that we're really working on is leadership. We didn't have a lot of leadership last year, and we're really striving to see ourselves grow in leadership and be more self-confident in our younger guys, which our younger guys are helping us grow as more of a team. Looking at this year ahead, what excites you about the year overall, but maybe even closer, what excites you about week one, a couple weeks away? Uh, being a senior, that's probably one of my biggest things. Being a senior is probably one of the funnest things. You get to help kids, you get to be in the moment, you get to do everything that you're asked. And if you're there, you're there, you're in the moment. You know, that title, title of a senior leader, what does it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, to me, it means from what I know as a teammate, I get to help kids learn more of what I know. And I'm sure other kids get to learn what other kids know. But from what I know, I get to teach them and help them grow. You know, why should people be taking, and other teams be taking note of Central Noble this season? Uh, I think that because uh, we're definitely going to be up there this year. I feel like we're going to make it past more conference than we ever have. I feel that it'll be a lot better of a season. Good deal. Good deal. Is there anything else that you want to add? No, sir.